Hello everyone, welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this exponential equation x to the power of 5 equals 4 to the power of x. And before we proceed with our solution, those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. And so any one of you guys who would like to attempt and solve this exponential equation, feel free to pause the video. All right. So now what do you think will be the first step to solve this equation? Can we take the logarithm on both sides of the equation? The answer is yes. All right. So now let's go ahead with our solution. So let's do that. So we take the natural logarithm on both sides. So we have ln of x to the power of 5 equals ln of 4 to the power of x. And here, based on logarithm exponent rule, so we have ln of a to the power of m. We can take the exponent to the front. That will become m times logarithm of a. So we'll be doing this on both sides of the equation, putting down the exponent on the front. So now we have 5 times natural logarithm of x. And the right-hand side, x times natural logarithm of 4. Combine all the variables on one side. So isolate the variable on the left-hand side. So we have to put this x to the left-hand side. And the constant to the right-hand side. So we have now ln of x divided by x equals ln of 4 divided by 5. We're putting the x to the numerator, so we have ln of x times x to the negative 1 power is equal to 1 fifth ln of 4. So here, x to the power of negative 1 can be written as e to the power of ln of x to the power of negative 1. So let's put this value to our equation. So we have ln of x times x to the power of negative 1. We have this value now. So that is e to the power of ln of x to the negative 1. And this is equal to 1 fifth ln of 4. And so in here, to find our solution, we'll be using Lambert W function to solve for the value of x. So we're looking for a format of our equation to be x times e to the power of x equals to some constants. So this is the kind of format that we're going to target. So based on this format, we have here ln of x, that's considered x times e to the power of ln of x to the negative 1. So if you notice, the base and the exponent x must be the same. So in here, in our equation, we have an exponent negative 1. So what are we going to do? So take down the exponent, right? To the front. Okay, so let's do that. So our equation now becomes ln of x times e to the power of, we have the negative 1 now as coefficient of the exponent. So that is, you just write negative ln of x, right? So, and the right hand side the same, 1 fifth times ln of 4. And here, we have this target format over here, x times e to the power of x. Since uh, we have x in the form of negative ln of x, we should make the base the same as its exponent. So what's missing in here? The base is missing a negative, right? To make it the same as its exponent, negative ln of x. So from here, we're multiplying the whole equation by negative 1, right? So this becomes negative ln of x times e to the power of negative ln of x cos negative one fifth ln of four. So we have just arrived at our desired format of our equation. So we have the base, negative ln of x, and the exponent, negative ln of x. 
So now we can apply the Lambert W function to find the value of x. So if we integrate the Lambert W function into this format of our equation, so we're going to have w sub x times e to the power of x will be equal to x. So applying Lambert W function to our equation, so we have, I've here applied the Lambert W function to our equation. So in here, x here is considered negative ln of x, and the value of x also here is in the form of negative ln of x. The base is equal to x exponent. So from here now, value of x in here in this format, from our format, w of x times e to the power of x will be equal to x. So in here, x is equal to negative ln of x, right? In this format. So we have ln of x, that's negative, equals the right-hand side. So w is of negative one-fifth ln of 4. And so from here, you notice we have negative in front. So we have to do is just switch position, right? Or simply just multiply it with negative 1. So we ended up with positive ln of x is equal to negative w sub negative 1 fifth ln of 4. And so from here, we're using the definition of logarithm. And ln is base e. So we have the value of x is equal to e to the power of negative w sub negative one-fifth times ln of four. So this is now our final answer. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye.